Welcome to how to pin Remedy Force objects and list views in the recents in Salesforce One. First off, we'll launch the Salesforce One emulator, which can be downloaded from Google App Store. And then you can launch from apps once it's installed. We'll launch the simulator here. We're going to log in to staff member Emma Brown. And if you're prompted for the verification code, you'll go to the configured email address. It'll be a five digit number, and you can enter that number and select verify. There's a setting on the profile if you want to disable that. Okay, so this is the default screen for a Remedy Force user in Salesforce One. You click the three bars and you can scroll down and you can add different tabs by turning them on at the profile level for the user, which is done under profiles. And in this case, we would turn it on for the service to staff profile. And notice the, the Remedy Force incidents object does not show up. So we click more and we scroll down through the list of available tabs and we click incident. Uh, there's an option to show list views. If you do not see this, um, you'll want to log in as the user in uh, a regular regular browser and then select the list view and then it'll show up. But since we've already done that, um, we'll click show list views. Also in the Remedy Force mobile app, you cannot um, create list views. If you need to create a list view, you'll need to log in as yourself in a regular browser. Okay, so show the list views. Here's our available list views. We have one record in the HR system admin list view. We can look at that record, see the details of it, and do what we need to do. Okay. To create a new record, we just click New, and then we populate um, required information. So we'll do we'll do a search for Luke. He is our service desk client. Search. There's Luke. And just leave this alone. And go to the incident details section. This is the client details. We can populate other details, but we're just trying to create an incident in this case. And we'll do hardware. Search for hardware. And click the lookup. Select hardware. Description, and we could select a template or something else we want. Um, reboot server, and then click save. Okay, and our incident's created. Next, that's logging in. Notes, let's pin an object. Let's pin the incident object to recents in the mobile app. So let's do that now. Okay, we logged in as Emma Brown in another browser, so our token wouldn't be messed up. Um, so now we're going to search for an incident, and we're going to search for 36. And remember, we're trying to pin the incidents so it shows up under this recent list here. So we found an incident. Now we need to scroll down and select incident, and you'll notice when you hover over it, um, a little pin shows it will pin it. Okay, and that moves it to the top. Now when we refresh, to refresh Salesforce Mobile, we have to log out and then log back in. So let's log out. And then we'll log back in. Once we 
we get logged in, we click the bars, and you'll see now that incidents is pinned under the recent in the Salesforce mobile. Okay, let's talk about adding views. In Salesforce One, if you click on incidents and there's no list views here, it means they haven't been used or seen or accessed by the user in Salesforce. So the, the way to make a view show up, or if you want to create a new view, um, log in to Salesforce as that user go to the incident object and then create or touch the view so if there's a view you want to see um, you can just click the drop down so we'll select all and then click go okay now when we refresh we go to another object and then back to incidents the all list view appears and the same thing would apply if you needed to create one. If you need to create a new view, go ahead and click Create New View. And we'll just keep this simple for the sake of uh, video. Okay, so once that view's been created, come back over here, select a different object, and then come back to it. And if it doesn't show up in the list, I click more and there it will be. This concludes how to pin Remedy Force objects and list views in Recents in Bellsforce 1. Thank you.